Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I bring up this new designed Android unit for the Ford Mustang 2015-2020. to And today we are going to open the box and show you what's in the package and uh, uh, bravely uh, introduce how to connect everything. Okay, let's do it. Okay, uh, after we get everything from the package, you can see the first one is the, this unit. Uh, this not only comes with uh, a display, but also it has the dash kit. So it doesn't need to prepare anything to install this Android radio. This screen we provide is 9.7 inch and uh, it's an IPS panel so have very good view angle. And also they have maintained some uh, buttons you can control from it. And here's are all the cables we are going to use. The first one, this is for the back camera. And uh, this one is a camera, you can, uh, is a microphone you can use to make a phone call and everything. And here, this one we call canvas box. With this canvas box, you can we can decode your steam wheel control, so it can still remain the factory uh, steam wheel control. And this part is the GPS module. And uh, this is one of the USB cable. Uh, it have the uh, Type B inside, so it can connect to your factory USB ports. And also the other two USB cables. And this is a video cable. Uh, here you can see we have a SIM card holder on it. So if, if you have an extra SIM card, you can put it. So make the radio connect to 4G network. And also the microphone, the microphone port is also on this. So you connect the microphone to this port. So then you make phone calls through the microphone. And this green one is for the subwoofer if you have in your car can connect to this RCA jack okay and the next one is this one is for the 4G antenna if you connect to the to, uh, put a SIM card into the power holder and with this antenna you can receive 4G signals and here comes the main wire hair harness so all harness are designed plug and play so it will 100% match to your original harness okay I will connect to the back of the unit to show you how this uh, harness to connect and okay, we have already start of the Android system. For the first time, boot up it took, took like around 40 seconds. And after that, next time when you start the car, the system will boot up like two, two to three seconds. It won't affect anything when you use it. So this is our home page of this unit. You can see there's a top bar. You have navigation, music, Bluetooth, video, setting, and all the apps. And also you can slide. There's more apps you can choose. And the middle part is. Uh, beautiful picture of your car. Long press on the car, you can see we can choose different scene. We have three different scene. It's four different scene inside you can choose. And here we have this Bluetooth player here. You can you can play and will post in your music. And also we can see the speed meter from here and also the time. And the bottom side is for the home button, back button and volume control. And here this this part is for your climate control. Press here, you can will have a full size climate control for, for the fan speed, for the temperature, and for the, for the auto, and the other all functions are all are here. And for this kind of unit, most we care about is for the car play. Okay, let me show you. We're in our app, apps, so we can find this application called T-Link 5. I already connect my phone to it, there's no cable. So this is a wireless car play. You can, you can use it very smooth. Okay, and also this unit support Android Auto, but for the Android Auto you might have to connect a wire, wire through USB to this unit. Okay, beside of this, we have apps. apps. Here is a, we have an application called Doofound Play. This is like a Google Play app, app store. And here are some, inside of this, we have already selected some, oh, sorry, the internet doesn't connect, but here already we select some application is that the design suitable for this screen. You can download from here if you like. It has Netflix, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Okay, and this unit totally fit with your camera. So here I have a jig to show you how the tech camera works. When we put this uh, reverse gear, you can see we have a cam camera image here. 
It's very low delay. And in this area, your radar on your car also have information feedback to you.